everybody, it's Modern Native. I haven't uploaded the last day or so because Mrs. Native had an accident on her way to work. She was riding her bike on the side of the road. She took a corner and a pickup truck, one of the local junkers, decided to get her out of his way and he connected with her right leg and threw her over the ditch. I'm going to the spot now to show you guys. It's rained since then. This happened Wednesday, today's Friday. Uh, I didn't have an opportunity Wednesday afternoon when I went by the site to actually get video of it because I was too focused on getting the bike and getting back to Mrs. Native because I'd already ran into a couple of issues with that. So, stay tuned. So when I was at the hospital, I stopped up there first after she told me what happened. I was busy moving everything from our aunt's place to our storage unit. So I needed to finish that because I only had one opportunity to do it. So as soon as I was able to, I got back to my bike when I was in town, went up to the hospital, and went to go check on Mrs. Native because she was keeping me apprised of the situation. And I was getting pretty concerned because I knew she wasn't letting on to how badly she was hurt. When I got to the hospital, you guys know me. I've always got knives on me and stuff. I'm an outdoor bushcrafter. I'm doing this all the time. And I have a true EDC. I carry it every single day. But they're just tools. They're not weapons. Even under New York State Code, they're still just tools. Because it's my designated intent and purpose. So here's the thing. Security, well, the nurse wanted to fucking stonewall me and not even give me information about my wife. And then security escorted me out because I had a weapon because they wanted to take it from me and I refused. So this was the corner that Mrs. Nader was on when she got hit. She came across the path I'm taking to come up and go against traffic. And you can actually... Can you still see the marks on the grass? Sort of. Right here. She went down. So she got hit. Right here. There was plenty of space between her and the corner for this goddamn truck to see her. She went off, got thrown off to the other side, and then she landed right here in the ditch where all this grass is laid down. She landed hard on her side. She managed to recover and get herself up and get to work farther down. There's no reason this should have happened. He had plenty of time, plenty of sight, and you can see there's so much room, these cars aren't even playing it tight to me. So there's no reason this should have happened. All this space, and he had plenty of time, and he intentionally moved over to hit her. It doesn't matter that we're on e-bikes. It doesn't matter that you're in a vehicle. If there is somebody on the side of the fucking road, you give them space. She almost, she could have fucking died, bro. Like seriously, she got thrown across that ditch. The underside of her legs where she was sitting on her seat is so bruised, it's hard for her to sit down. Her ribs are fractured. She has a concussion. She's recovering from that, thankfully. She recovers from those pretty quick. But her ribs are fractured, it hurts to breathe. She has a hairline fracture in her, in her femur. And this dude hit her and just took off. So, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty livid. So, I had a whole interaction with security up at the hospital because they didn't want to let me in. They didn't want to give me any information about her. And they were treating me like a hostile just because I had what they perceived as a weapon. And they wanted to refuse me any information about my wife or access unless I surrendered it. And then wouldn't even offer me 
a chain of custody slip to say that they had it in their possession to give me some assurances that I'd actually get it back. So yeah, totally unprofessional. On top of the whole situation, they made it so much more volatile because all I was trying to do was find out what was going on with my wife, see her for a minute, grab her bike key so I can go and get the bike back from her work because she was brought to the hospital in an ambulance. So, yeah, that made it so much worse, guys. But the police have found the vehicle and the operator. The community came together when uh, the news put up a post about it to try to find some information. And the, the community came together and showed, and I guess put out enough information that they were able to figure out who it was. So let's see if they actually follow through with any of that and charge him with anything. They asked her to bring up her medical records to show what happened. We'll be doing that Monday, so I'll keep you guys posted. She is out of work until Monday. Luckily, she's not missing too much work, but things are going to be a little tough and a little tight still and again for the next couple of weeks, but we're going to be doing a live stream. So that way you guys can see her and talk to her and she can tell you guys about shit herself. And uh, it was just an emotional couple of days and uh, a quick tip uh, towards insanity. Uh, I do have to say he is lucky that the police found him before I did. Um, not sure I would have had much restraint. He hit her and just kept on going and didn't stop to see if she was okay, nothing. Nobody helped her, nobody stopped, pulled over when they saw it, nothing. So, there it is. Anyway, everybody, be safe out there, but still get out there, be a native, go beast.